So we're asking you questions that's got to do with Nollywood, your acting career, uh, the NSARS protest you were actively involved in it, and of course, uh, an impression about you out there that you would love to correct. So these are many more as some of the questions that you will be answering this morning, and promise me that you will be honest. Yeah, I'm like uh, always. Uh let me, let me let me call myself. Most times I'm like um, 85 percent honest. 85 percent. 85 percent. What happened yeah. to the 15 percent, though? Oh, uh, the 15 percent is when you have to tell somebody something that is not correct. <laughs> you understand? Not, not like you're lying, but that thing is not correct. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay. Just make you just say the interview they go. I feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so <laughs> let's start with your journey into Nollywood. Like, mm. when exactly did you get into Nollywood and um, how mm. long have you been there? Never. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. That was my journey. Oh. One thing for this matter, I'll tell you the truth, man. When I started this journey, Fever, I'm sure you were still a little girl, you know? Please tell me when. I think that will help me figure that out. <laughs> I actually started this journey in 1996. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, w- I was really a small girl. Like, for real. Yeah. I was really a small girl. That's over 20 years. Yes, yeah, over 20 years. I've been rocking Nollywood. Mm-hmm. 20 years plus, you know. Well, uh, bless God, I- I'm still here and uh, I'm still very much active. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unlike a whole lot of people that mm-hmm. had uh, fade away, but I refuse to fade away. Wow. I'm just like, you know the sound that I, I, I fall and arise yeah. I fall and arise it's been an interesting journey anyway you know from the days when Nollywood had nothing but passion mm-hmm. all we wanted to do was just to act, act. that was it where is the audition happening I actually gave man I'm telling you the truth those yeah. days we would trek from from Ikeja to Festac mm. or Festac to Surulere I mean trek you know, because literally we had no money to, money to bus, yes. pay transport fare. So sometimes we get into the bars and then uh, we get into a fight because we don't have money to pay. Favor, uh, if, if I bar lose, I think. Man, the, the energy for fighting, it has been in you. Like you've been, you've been, it seems you've been fighting all the way through. It's like a childhood thing. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I started fighting from when I was little. Like, so you know, did, did, did your directors notice, notice all of that and decided to fit you into this bad boy role in Nollywood? <sighs> See, yeah. Mm-hmm. This bad boy rule thing, or uh, sometimes they call it uh, typecasting. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's not only with me, and it's not only in Nollywood. I know, but you stand out. If you don't know, yeah. just know it now. Like you stand <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> like anybody yeah. that sees you, sees you, be like, is this, is this how you are for yeah. real? <laughs> so what's with the bad boy rule? What did they see in you that made them say that? Okay, I think this boy or this guy at the time was going to give this particular role his best shot. Anyway, you know, before you feature in any movie, those days, you go through an audition. Okay. Okay, so whenever I go through this audition and they ask me to play a role, you know, um, the casting directors, when they see you, they look at you, they kind of like, you know, reason that, okay, this guy will fit into a role like this, mm-hmm. or a role like that. Then they give you a script, a script yeah, okay. to read and, and try to act and see what you got. Mm-hmm. So whenever they give me anything... I started working out the moment I left my secondary school, you know. So okay, so I've you already had, built yes, up I've before you started going this, for yes, okay. Yes, I've always had that, you know. So, and you know, I don't have that, this kind of baby face, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, you know, there are people you see and they be like, oh my God, he's so cute. You're no, not I, cute. I, I am not in that class. I had a miffy cute. <laughs> <laughs> we don't act cute around yeah, here. Yeah, that's We don't yeah. act cute. When you see this guy, man, you'll be like, oh, nah, nah, nah. And then with the, um, the, the the actor skills, whatever I do my thing, they'll be like, wow, this guy is really good. Mm-hmm. And then when they give me the role to play in the movie, I usually kill it. Yeah. Yeah. I do my thing and everybody's amazed. The directors are usually amazed. They'll be like, ah, this mm-hmm. guy is good though. Eh? Eh, um, Edro, that next script, do you know that script? Bring and give this guy. You go do that film. This guy is good though. You know, and that way and that way we kept growing and kept growing. Um, it's not like they've not tried me in other roles, but mm-hmm. I think I stand out in my bad boy roles. Bad boy roles, yeah. Because yeah. I was yeah. going to ask you about that, whether you, you think it, it's somehow uh, stereotypical to have you always in the bad boy role. 
there are other roles you don't I, I i rarely like i don't know maybe a few a few movies where you and the thing is i've seen you so much in bad boy roles that when i see you, you play other roles, I, can't, I can't relate <laughs> Yeah, a couple of people are I like can't, that. I cannot relate. You like, know. lover boy role, no. <laughs> Come on, Labista, no. Like, no, no, no. No, but I can still, look, I still do it all. You give me the lover boy. Uh, there's a movie I did. I played in, um, an office man, a, a lover man. Mm-hmm. Not just a lover boy because I got married there. I married uh, Chizzy Alici in that okay. movie, you know. And then everything was nice. I had an office, an executive office where I worked with my suit on you know i don't usually wear suits in movies but in that movie i, I wore suits a lot mm-hmm. go to the office come back hug my wife kisses and all that and people loved it but towards the end of the movie you still did fight. something bad <laughs> i was gonna ask you but like i don't expect you to act all cute like you know, if i'm if i'm seeing that movie i, I have my expectations already like La Bista, i don't trust you like i i know you're going to pull this off yeah, yeah but yeah. anyway if you had probably started off like that in nollywood it would have been easier for people to adjust even if you play the bad boy role, they'll be yes. like oh so you can actually do the bad boy yes. thing but you stand out really what's yeah. your real name by the way everyone knows you by Labista. yeah that movie took over my real name. Like just very serious fans that mm-hmm. know my real name. My name is Emmanuel Ehumadu. Oh, Emmanuel. God yeah. with us. God is and God with most us. definitely has been with you. For real. Are you All from true. here? Yes, I'm from here. I'm from Omaha. here. I'm from Omaha oh. Single. Okay. I'm a I'm a I'm a Oh, try that way. <laughs> the other day, Slim Brown was here. Slim said he was from Obaka. I'm like, really? Yes, like, yes. I've spoken to him a couple of times, and I didn't know yes. it comes from here. We we'll have a lot of um, entertainers that are from my best today. Exactly. You know, believe mm-hmm. that have, yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so let's move on a little bit more um, mm-hmm. to something else. COVID-19 happened mm-hmm. last year, mm-hmm. and uh, we were almost on national lockdown for how many months? It wasn't easy at all. And yeah. I understand that people in the entertainment sector were mostly affected uh, by this as a result of the fact that you don't go to, to locations anymore. Uh, musical artists don't get uh, shows, uh, gigs anymore and all of that. So um, now that people are trying to readjust to the new normal, which is, of course, wearing face masks, observing social distancing and all of that, how have you guys in Nollywood been able to adjust to the changes that came with the advent of COVID-19. COVID-19 was a very big blow on Nollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you remember when this whole COVID thing started, they'll tell you don't touch the surface, mm-hmm. don't touch the door handle, don't touch this, don't touch that. So even when you want to go to the fast food and get get food, when you get to the door, you use your elbow to open, open the door. The door and they in the name of you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. So it was terrible on Nollywood though, mm-hmm. was, because you know the Nollywood thing is an up close and personal kind Same. of business. Exactly. Yeah. You don't stay far away to talk to people. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you get close. In some instances, some situations, some cases, you even get to touch lips, like kiss each other. Exactly. You know, or play some kind of a lover's role, maybe on that duty and stuff like that. So, but with the COVID nineteen thing, uh, we could not do all of that. So it, it, it shut down Nollywood practically. There was nothing going on throughout that period. Even when um, other businesses started to resume, Nollywood, Nollywood was still struggling. Like, yeah, struggling. You know, because of that issue. Mm-hmm. And then at a point in time, they now started to tell us that we could actually touch surface. That uh, COVID cannot be gotten from touching surfaces. Just wear your mask. Wear your mask. No, no, hey, no, no mask. No, 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 you adjust no matter what you know if you plant a tree now and uh, maybe you have a cover mm-hmm. on this on that growing tree or growing uh, plants and the sun is coming from the right or from the left you know that tree will just naturally towards, towards, towards yes towards that sunlight mm-hmm. so that was actually what happened with us too we were able to adjust 
Uh, in other words, we uh, avoided a couple of roles that needed that kind of up to touchy touchy. Yes, yeah, touchy okay. touchy. We, we couldn't do that. We had to like pause those kind of uh, scripts, mm -hmm. and then we did more of uh, epic. Okay. When we resumed, yeah, we did more of epic, mm -hmm. and um, even situations where you have to kiss, you, you don't have to. Yeah. So you, you could see, even if it's a situation where you have to kiss somebody you don't, it would definitely affect the story one way or the other. Okay. So yeah, but the fans understood with us that uh, it was a situation that, that you guys needed to like find that. a way to deal with. Exactly. Okay, anything like probably the producer giving you guys a heads up. Uh, you uh, will be starting production on so, so so Day, so I need you all to go into self-isolation for so, so so time to be sure that everybody who are going to be on set are free of COVID-19. Anything like that? Is yeah. there any arrangement like self -isolation? that? Self-isolation? No, we didn't do anything like self-isolation mm. because we were going to start a shoot. Okay. But rather, what we did was um, some directors bought that um, temperature reader okay that one that looks like a gun mm -hmm. uh, the issue. to be sure <laughs> okay <laughs> but yeah so we did that and yes. then we did a shoot in Sarasukain. Yes, until did. what happened happened we but <laughs> uh, regardless of that you were here in Omar here alongside uh, Mr. Roar yeah. Slim Brown and a couple of other celebrities that came to be at the forefront yes. of the NSAS protest here in Omar here mm -hmm. there were speculations back then that you were arrested even some of your celebrity friends had to put up your picture uh, you know people saying release La Bista he didn't do anything and all of that and um, we just want to hear straight from the horse's mouth what exactly happened were you arrested actually I was never arrested. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, now let me put it out there to you guys to understand what happened. For those of you that didn't know, um, like you all know, we had a match. Mm -hmm. We were marching. I think uh, we, were, we were at uh, the National Assembly, and then from the National Assembly, we were marching back to where we took off from, which was uh, in front of the government house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that junction there. So when we got to. Okay, how about that? You know, there's some um, RCPS car. I think so. Uh, yeah. Bend the road. Yes, mm. bend the road. That that police station. As we were approaching the police station, uh, the crowd was massive. You know, I think the police people were actually scared. That period, the police were mm, just mm, really scared mm. of the people. So yeah. they wanted to disperse the so crowd. So they just wanted to disperse the crowd, and then they they told us not to not to pass in front of their station. That mm -hmm. we should go to the other mm -hmm. side of the road. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. But the crowd was too much. That's not how everybody could just go to that one side of the road. So mm -hmm. people kept coming. And then the next thing, they shot some tear gas at us. And then they started to shoot in the air. Mm -hmm. To disperse know, the to crowd? To disperse the crowd. Mm -hmm. So that was when everybody when started chose running away. helter skelter. In my head, tear gas and all that different. <laughs> you know. So that was actually when me too left. Okay. <clears throat> I left that ground and then found my way back to my hotel. Okay. Yeah. So on getting to my hotel, I had now got the news that about you were what arrested. happened. No. Oh. Okay. About what happened at Lake Oh, Okay. Days, because it was the same day. day. Yeah. So it was a very emotional moment for me. You know. So I was like, what happened in Lake Itoge could have also happened to Here, us here right? in Maya. So what if I was shot? We we're mm. only trying and asking for a better mm -hmm. country, a better mm -hmm. Nigeria. You know. So <laughs> I got really emotional about that and. Um, it seems you took a time, you took some time off social media to kind of get yourself because nobody was hearing yeah. from you at the time. I, I just I switched off my phone, okay. you know, and then I slept off. All right. So by the time I woke up the next morning, I put on my phone and then all the balls started to come in. Mm -hmm. It was so much like my phone was ringing back to back. I didn't even know which call to take and which not to take. Back to back. I went to Instagram. My pictures were everywhere. Facebook. Ah. I was shocked and like the news went viral like that. I was arrested. I was arrested. I, I said, 
I'm not here. I'm gonna hang off. I didn't. <laughs> did you issue a press statement to that effect? Uh, not a press statement. What I did was I, I made a video and posted on uh, Facebook because actually my Instagram account was hacked that moment. Okay. That NSAS period. Period. Okay. My Instagram account was hacked, so I couldn't post on Instagram. So I posted on Facebook, and then I called a couple of my colleagues and my friends and mm. I asked them to post the video so people could can see it. I understand that I was not calm. arrested, so everybody right. would calm. You know, okay. Because the whole buzz was just so high that uh, people started to ginger like uh, as if they were Bonner Boy and Whiskey. <laughs> if you want to make a ginger, give me the cock. <laughs> Since you like this song, I'm going to push plenty for you. For real. I uh, love it. I okay. love it. Okay. That's a good song. So I'm going to pull up the ginger by Bonner Boy or Whiskey. For real. Okay. <laughs> so, um, straight from your mouth, you were not arrested. No, I was not. Uh, you decided to leave the protest ground because, um, you know, it was beginning to get a little bit uncomfortable for you. Exactly. You went back to the, your hotel. Room. Yes. So you have it th- that information. So enough of the speculations that Labista was arrested mm-hmm. uh, during the NSAS protest here in Omaha. He's live here in the <laughs> studios of Flow 94.9 FM and yes. he's telling us that he was not arrested. So the final question before I finally let you go. Is there any impression of you, any impression about you out there or probably a rumor out there that you would want to correct? Okay, first of all, we've corrected the NSAS rumor. NSAS rumor, yeah. Mm. I was never arrested. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, okay. I got that. Mm-hmm. And then the second rumor is the one you started. You started it. <laughs> yeah. How can you ask me if I if I came here with a, with a, with a gun? I beg uh, your pardon, uh, please. Uh, uh, you know about that. <laughs> I get that question a lot. Like, I, I've seen you more times in God than I can remember. That's like, in the movies. I know, in movies. In the movies. But I see you more in movies. In June, I saw you see me with any gun. No, uh, but I, I see you more in movies. That's that's uh, the point. It's just a movie. Like, if I see you in real life, <laughs> but see you in real life more often, probably I'll be like, okay, you know. <laughs> but I see you more often in movies, so you wouldn't blame uh, me. Oftentimes, I go to places and they'll be like, where's your gun? Did you come with any gun? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, Mr. Bosch, like... <laughs> Like <laughs> it's just a tool I use for my job, my uh, work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so let me correct that impression. People, mm. if you're listening to me, I don't walk around with guns. I don't. Okay. I, it's only when I'm acting that they, I get these guns to act with. I remember I finish and I and it back to either the, the, the police or the, the army, whichever mm-hmm. one that brings the guns. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So any rumor out there? These are some of the impressions. Okay, we've co- corrected the NSAS rumor. Yeah. You know, the internet is crazy. You can click on Labista on Google and you see Labista did this, Labista did that, Labista. <sighs> and sometimes I, I've, I've spoken to a couple of celebrities, and sometimes you chat with them, you realize that, that most of this news on the internet about them are not true. But they choose not to talk about it because they probably haven't gotten the opportunity to talk about it. Mm. So that's why I'm giving you the opportunity. Any other thing that you would want to correct out there? Uh, this is your shot. Oh, well, then really much. I think uh, a couple of places where if you Google my name, Emmanuel Ehumadu, mm-hmm. some places will tell you that I'm from Anambra. I'm not from Anambra. I'm oh. from I'm, I'm a single here in Omaha, Abia State. Mm-hmm. And then some of the places on, on Google too will tell you that I'm worth uh, five mil, uh, $500 million. <laughs> Nah. Claim money and no more. Hey, claim good idea, but I will quite give you five hundred million dollars. They want to drive away your yeah. helpers. I don't know. You understand? <laughs> they make us it. look like uh, a yeah, like, well, yeah, if the director wants to call you for for a script, they'll be like, no, that yeah, guy, that is, guy he is too has rich. Money. Oh, when well, join you, I can't see how much but Google, ah, uh, yeah, man, that guy is too rich. That guy get money. We don't get them. We the find them. We see the find them. So big for my helper. Oh, be one no. Let me start in one minute. Can you describe your personality? Like, I, I, I think it, I can describe your personality in about 30 minutes yeah. that I've been with you here. Yeah, yeah. But let's hear from the horse's mouth. How will you describe your personality? Because I know a lot of people out there will be like, ah, Labisa, that guy could be, ah, that guy, they would yeah. be near him. Or. Actually, people think like that about me. When they see me, they'll be like, nah, yeah, happen, yeah, yeah, but I, bro. That is it. Yeah, she kill. Yeah, I put him out, but she could kill. But man, I, I, I mean, like, you're uh, human. I'm, 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 a, I'm a very good, nice guy with a very good sense of humor mm. yeah i'm fun to be with like yeah. if you hang around me you will want to be around me some more mm. i got that so whatever you see in the movies is just a job it's just a role that i'm being given to interpret yeah but man i do my interpretation so well so damn well that it looks so convincing that in home gabba exactly some people home high shift yeah. <laughs> 
that's an indication that you do your job very well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's that's just it. That's I mean, if you don't do it very well, they'd be like, okay, anytime they see you, they want to come hug you. But yes, exactly. for them to be scared and be like, hey, no, it that means you interpreted people. your role very well. You know the I'm whole thing about mom. around the mama, special yeah. yeah. uh, yeah, 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 you know, exactly. people started to think that she's a witch. Exactly. Then, you know. I'm a <laughs> Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and the rest shall be added unto you, my brother. Now. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> Been amazing having you out here, man. Like I should have opened up the phone lines, but let's see if we can take one more call, just one, before we finally go. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Joy. Hello. Can you speak up? What's your name? Joy. Joy, Joy, where are you calling from? Okay. Joy, Joy, Joy seems to be starstruck. <laughs> like you're like, oh, finally I connected. Eh? Talking to La Vista. But she doesn't <laughs> sound like uh, she. Uh, she doesn't if, sound joyous. If I, 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 I think I crush on Tyler Perry a lot. Yeah. And I see Tyler Perry, I'd be like, you know, you're, yeah. you're, you're like, you can't even move close. But you like, yeah, anytime I see Tyler Perry, I'm gonna move close. But you might see him, I'd be like, I don't even understand. So probably I that's know. what that's what happened. Yeah. She was trying to get through, and she finally got through, and she lost all the things she wanted to I say. Know. I get that a lot. I meet people when they see me, they, they lose all their words. They, they, they be like, Ex- exactly. They just keep staring at me like. <gasps> <laughs> Some people will say, Jesus. Don't say, I will get Jesus. All the Jesus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we'll have to draw the court is. It's been so amazing, so amazing having you around here. Thank Hopefully, you. anytime you come around, we'll have you back in the studio. Yeah, but sure, thank definitely. you so much. So, you said you like ginger, my burner boy. For real. Okay, Hit I'm going to push me on it for you. All right, thank you so much. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you and thank you and thank you again. Up next is Kids A Lot with Auntie Gift. My name is Favor, and as always, keep it locked on Flow 94.9 FM, the flow of God's own state, and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. <laughs>